Hi all, it's me Arg and yeah, welcome back to the channel and today we'll be talking about Cyberpunk 1.6 Yes, with a new update that is 40 GB in size with new side quests, uh, new items, even secrets that is inside the Cyberpunk world have been introduced to us as your own awesome uh, update but there are also some bad things about it uh, like uh, all the previous mode that was working on 1.5 update is no longer working and in order to make it work, you have to get the updated version of the smelt, uh, otherwise it will not work. This is because uh, in Cyberpunk, right now we have this uh, thing called uh, Red Mode that is integrated inside the Cyberpunk game. It is a modding tool uh, which is like a Creation Club. Uh, it is meant to make modding much more uh, refined. Uh, yeah, it's going to get there. I know Creation Club the head it gets is because of the monetization, not because of how good or bad it is. So this is here where you enable your mods. And because of this integration into the game, uh, the mods that you install needs to, you say, mm, work in line with the uh, modding tools. Otherwise, the your game will not launch at all. Or sometimes it will give glitches that breaks our other mods as well. Uh, so beware of what you install in the game. Uh, make sure that it is compatible with the new 1.6 patch. Uh, make sure to download the latest version of the game uh, mods. And for installation, so for modding, I'm using Vortex mod. Yeah, I'm against using any kind of mod manager. But yeah, I have to use it here because uh, when you install mods directly into the mo uh, directory, uh, what happens is that if it doesn't work, the game will not launch at all because of the integration of red mode tools inside the game itself. So you need to delete those files. And if a residue is there, when you delete those files, the game will still not launch, saying that there is a conflict or there is some file missing. So be wary of that one. For Botex Mod Manager, uh, it's easy. Uh, you can easily delete mod files that don't work, and it will uh, make the game still work. When the mods are installed and it doesn't support in the Cyberpunk 1.6 uh, version of the game, uh, the game will crash, but after uninstalling the mods, it will work again. Uh, it is easily done here. Here you can see how it is done. Once you turn up the mod uh, manager, it will come up like this. And the mod this section will have zero games in it because you don't have any mods or any game that is under maintenance by the Botex mod manager. What you have to do is look for the mods in this section of the paste uh, and you have to look for cyberpunk and you can also do the search button there and once you do it if it is not already installed here it will be applied uh, shown in the down button one and you can click there and what happened next is that when you click the uh, manage button you will be asked if you want to install those mods uh, plugin for that uh, uh, game uh, so that you can manage start managing the mods and for modding it's easy, trust me, it's very easy. Even for me, it means it's going to be easy for you as well. Uh, let's go to the mod section. Yeah, here in the mod section, uh, you can see all the mods here. And I didn't arrange any of this mod hierarchy, uh, which will go up or which will go down. And it has been arranged, auto arranged by the Vortex mod manager. Much uh, easier for beginners like me, like anyone who is mod into modding for the first time. And you can see all the mods being installed here. Uh, it is working. That's why it is here. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, flight mode doesn't work at all. Uh, if someone finds the remedy to this mis uh, misery that I'm facing, that I cannot make it work, uh, please do uh, say it in the comment section. I want to make it work because that is one of the mods that I like a lot. And for some mods, uh, you need to specify if it's going to load uh, before or after another mod. Uh, just like the uh, script mods, uh, sometimes it will, uh, they will ask if you want to mo uh, load this uh, mod after uh, a menu appearance mod. Uh, what you have to do is make the script one before or after. Depend it will also suggest you uh, keep suggestion like you want to load this. Uh, suggested is after or suggested is before the mod. Uh, so it is easily uh, done. Uh, you don't have to uh, be uh, pulling your hair 
because you don't know which one to go up or down. Um, but 90% of the time, the mod itself will uh, be handled by the modding tools. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is go to the Nexus website, download the mod set you want. Um, but make sure that your Botex mod manager is linked directly to uh, Nexus mod manager. Uh, I mean Nexus website. So whenever you download a mod there, it will go directly to the mod manager. And you don't have to do anything dragging or dropping files and such. Uh, so you can see all the mods here. I have already installed around 15 mods in this game to make it more livelier than before. Uh, let's dive into the game, shall we? Uh, I think uh, I've been talking too much. You don't want to see me talk ramble around. And for those that are watching for the first time, uh, please continue watching, subscribe to the channel. And those that have watched my videos before, my flight mode uh, videos, I'm uh, really happy that you all uh, gave me that interaction views. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. Uh, yeah, let's go into the uh, game where the mod is already been installed. Okay, so what happened is this, uh, when you guns get inside the game, uh, with if you have no video intros, it will go straight to the game without the intro videos. And once you launch the game, uh, first thing you see is the uh, in cyber tweak engine uh, submenu where you have to assign the value uh, to in summon it. And there, this is the nitty gritty backbone of the modding. So here you will be assigning most of the keys uh, that we'll be using later in, in the game. And even other stuff will be uh, done here. So you have to keep in mind how to use this one. You cannot just uh, go around changing everything. Uh, just assign the keys that you want to use for later use inside the game. Uh, it's going to respond according to this. And for the custom slot that you install in the game for using all those um, items, uh, you need to assign values to those key. Assign key uh, you need to assign those values here. Uh, assigning is done here. Uh, if you don't do it here, regardless of how you maintain the mode inside the game, uh, it will not work at all. Uh, it will be valueless uh, unless, uh, until and unless you assign a proper key here uh, to those uh, consumables. Uh, I'm using only 8, that's why uh, it will be shown 8 on my main menu screen. Uh, and you have to apply this one. And this one is for summoning a uh, hostile NPC or friendly NPC while playing the game. Uh, it will not work here. Uh, this one will only work inside the game, so be wary of that one. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, the proper way of using uh, some other times, but I'll be s uh, using this one to summon some hostile NPC for uh, showing you how the net running works. And here you can see the quick slot. Uh, all the items that I want to use are here. Uh, Sometimes I manage in such a way that uh, the health boosts are on the top and uh, uh, stamina boost and damage one uh, at the bottom. I like one, uh, I have one, two, nine slot and I've used it accordingly. And this makes things much more easier for me to access during the gameplay. Once I turn uh, load into the game, you'll see that I have uh, boosted energy, boosted health and such. Uh, my base health is only 140, but because of the boosted health, it could reach up to 179 uh, points. And here, it, this is RMK. Uh, before I have installed this mod, but I didn't say much about it. But the thing is that this one makes things much more livelier, much more immersive. It makes the enemy net runners uh, formidable web uh, any uh, people that you have to face against. They can kill you easily by using very little hacks. Uh, and you can also destroy them uh, by disrupting their hacks. And the same thing can be done to you by the NPC. So this makes combat much more livelier, much more, uh, you know, uh, dangerous to face. Uh, four or five net runner at the same time, every one of them is going to use their net running hack. This is decided in this uh, mod section, that is the RMK. It is one of the best mod that is available here. Uh, yeah, visual mods is good, but come on, man. This one physically or uh, figuratively changing the, uh, mo uh, the what do you say, uh, how the AI 
things about you, how the AI will react. And this one is for uh, customizing your U uh, UI uh, on your screen, uh, what you want to see. I just leave it as it is because I don't want to change it at all. The what I'm seeing right now on my screen is much more than enough, but it is my preference. If you want to change anything, just try it on. If you don't like it, turn it off. If you like it, turn it on. Uh, it's your preference. You don't have to say, ah, he do this, he do that. It's your preference, do whatever you want here. And here also, uh, you can decide what people will be seen on the screen, like uh, friendly, red, uh, friendly, uh, blue, green, or something like that, and enemy in the red color, something like that. Uh, it makes things much more easy to uh, see for you uh, without having to worry about what is going on. Uh, yeah, let's dive into the game and check the modes properly working. Uh, because after all, w what's the point of showing this mod or modded game if I don't even show the actual mods? Hey you! Yeah, I'm talking to you! Okay, see. Nothing is on the screen right now except for the health bar because you can see the icon, the heart icon there. Uh, that one gives me health boost. My health in general is only 140 because I can gym something. So right now it's 169. See how much it will help you in terms of uh, gameplay when you have a boost like this. Uh, when your build is mainly depend upon uh, high damage output and such, but you have managed to uh, also gain health by consuming some of the stuff that you have inside your inventory. And once you uh, draw your weapon, uh, all the other items will also will come out like this. You can see that my custom floats are all coming out. I can access any of this uh, stuff in my custom float. It will give me boost. You can see all this one. And yeah, about the uh, police AI and such. Let's kill some people here. Okay. Don't do this. Uh, glitching out, yeah. they will chase you down. Uh, <laughs> you have to get them carefully, otherwise, they will chase you and kill them offline uh, without hesitation. They will. You can see that the modes are working well, the enhanced police and such, uh, but if you install a uh, combat overhaul for vehicle, it will not work at all and it will give you headache, trust me, uh, it doesn't work, uh, so that's the reason why I didn't install that one, but uh, still after me. This is my bike here right now, I've changed the color uh, last time, that's why it's in this color, you can see the neon sign right, it's here. Uh, it depends on the type of color or you choose on the bike. Sometimes it's uh, it'll come out the same, but most of the time it will change in color. Uh, okay, let's go for this one. Uh. See, it changes into blue. Sometimes it will not change, so you have to be wary of that one. Uh, it changes the color, and see the way you can drive all the bikes. But right now, if you change the color of the bike or some of the texture of the bike, it it will also sometimes change the uh, neon sign on the on your bike. Uh, it makes things much more livelier. Uh, like in real life, everyone is not having the same neon sign. That thing. And yeah, you can turn it off and on. 
by simply tapping the E key. Right now, but there is no horn on your keyboard, uh, on your vehicle. That's one of the problems, I would say. Uh, okay, let's go for the mod menu stuff. Okay. Yes. You can spawn what you want to see here or what you want to interact on the real world uh, that is in this game. Hmm. Ish. Ish. Oh, yeah, much better. Uh, spawn. Uh, you can spawn of everything here. Maelstrom, Scavenger, Miltech. Mm. Even the... What? Mm. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Once. Yeah? What's new in the world of squatters, whores, and lack of opportunity? Okay, let's make them all hostile, right? Hold your fire! <laughs> all units report. Opening fire. See. This way you can uh, <laughs> intrigue with them. See, they are contained in. Before in game, none of the NPC will use this one. But right now, they are using this one because they can use all the right hex. I have to kill the right one, otherwise, I'm dead. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, shit, shit, I'm suffering. <laughs> I nearly died, right? See, killing the guy with the net uh. hack uh, uh, stop their hacking on you. So <coughs> when you uh, storm the Arasaka bu building, are you going to face a hell of a problem? Uh, unlike before, uh, it's going to be a tough <coughs> battle. So these are the mods that I have been installing uh, and I have been playing for quite a while and they are all stable right now except for the uh, flight mode. I couldn't install it, I couldn't make it work. Uh, I'm really uh, not happy because I like that mod a lot because uh, it is something that makes cyberpunk uh, uh, more like cyberpunk. <laughs> Flying cars, nah. Uh, so there is that. And yeah. Uh, if you like this video, please do hit the like button. If you want to support this channel, subscribe. Uh, what you guys have given me on that last uh, modding of uh, modding video of uh, Cyberpunk that they with flight mode, it was awesome. I uh, would like to see the same interaction here as well. Uh, yeah, for those who are trying to mod, uh, if you're having problems, uh, if you want to see the actual modding process, even though I have just uh, given a, a slight um, brush of how to mod here and there, uh, maybe you are not familiar with it. So you can ask, and I'll even try to make a video um, mainly focusing on how to mod properly, uh, based on my best knowledge. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and have you all enjoy the day. Bye bye.